working on getting these peppers in the freezer. I'm going to clean them, dice them up with some onion, and I'm going to vacuum seal them and throw them in my freezer for the winter time for my spaghetti, my lasagna, whatever my little heart desire wants. I will have green peppers and onions together. Here I've got two onions and a couple peppers diced up. And I will bring you back because I am going to seal them in the vacuum sealer to keep them from getting freezer burn. Alright, I decided I was going to bring you over. Um, this is from Cabela's Pro Series vacuum sealer. It has manual seal, pulse, normal, gentle, um, auto vac. There's the vacuum port there. Or canister, you just pick what you want, an extended seal. And, so, I don't have any bags. I didn't buy the bags. I bought the rolls from Amazon. Goodbye. I'll have a link to those in the description box below. So, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make me a bag. And here's my cutter. And I'm going to seal this up, make sure there's no wrinkles or anything, push it down, see how the lights are going. Alright, so she's sealed. All right, now I have me a little bag. I have my peppers here. <clears throat> I have a whole lot to do, so I just wanted to bring you along just for a short view. Yeah, short view. A quick little thing on how I do my peppers, and they last me for a year. I got more this year, so I should be good to go. Let me grab some, a measuring cup to put these in the bag, and then we'll seal it up. All right, this is a half a cup. I try to plan like how much like this would not be enough for spaghetti for us because we like it chunky. So that's a half a cup. Uh, that's a cup, maybe a cup and a half. And it depends on what um the meal is is how I proportion it. Like to me, this would be good for lasagna or to me just for spaghetti. Now let's seal it up. And I like to have mine flat so it doesn't take up a lot of freezer space. If you just like make it all bumpy and lumpy. And I'm going to close it. And I like the extended seal so I'm going to hit that. And then I'm going to hit back here. Can you even see that y'all? It's a little noisy. Wait till all those lights are out, just like now. And guess what? This didn't seal you, and you know why? Because it was wet. So let's try this again. That's the fun thing I find with this vacuum sealer. I like it, but it cannot be wet. It's not for moisture. So let's try it again. I wasn't paying attention. Let's see if she'll. Do it again. Extended seal. Okay, trial and error. Sucking it up good, but what did she seal? See how the water's going in there? I don't know. I've had that issue before. That was weird. That means, see how that did that? I don't think it sealed again. Nope. Did not seal. So. Don't despair. I'm going to cut off another bag. Make it a little bit longer. Cut her down. We're going to seal another one. Can y'all see? Maybe I should lower it a little bit. 
Hold on. I'm going to lower you. All right. I hope that angle's better. I didn't touch anything. All right. Let's try it again. Take the dump from here. Ah! Into this one without maybe getting the sides wet. I'll set that aside. I never ditch a bag. Let's try it again. Hopefully it works this time. And we'll shutter extended. See a little liquid. Now when all the lights go out, check it again. Alright. Yes, I'm leaving that in because it's a real deal. And she sealed, y'all. That's because when I put my peppers in the other bag, I had got this part wet. So it caused a failed seal. So, there we go. Look at that. Alrighty. Hope you enjoyed this quick little segment. And y'all have a blessed, wonderful day. Thank you for stopping by. Bye, you guys. Love y'all.